Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very special video. So you go ahead and you plug in your Flight 1 flight controller to the configurator and nothing happens. Well this here is the video for you. Okay pilots, first thing you need to do is solder bridge your boot button or you can put a pair of metal tweezers but that doesn't always work. The very next thing you're going to do is download Zadig. Once you've done that, go ahead and open it up. Once you have it open, come up here to the top and click list all devices. Then you are going to find where it says STM32 bootloader. Then you need to make sure you're on this exact same driver as me and click replace driver. It's going to go ahead and do its thing and then hit close. Once you've done that, you'll just bring this down for a minute or close it out, whichever's best for you. After that, go ahead and plug in your flight controller and it should say welcome to DFU mode. And at this point, you can select the firmware version you want. If you're going to load one locally, you can. If not, you can load online. Be sure to make sure you have internet. If you don't have internet, you're not going to be able to load from online. So at that point, you need to have pre-downloaded the firmware and already have it on your computer. First thing it's going to do is erase the chip and then it's going to go through the writing data portion. That can take a few minutes. Sometimes it's about a minute. I'm going to speed through it now. Okay, you're all set. Go ahead and desolder the boot button that you just previously soldered. After you've done that, plug in your flight controller to the configurator and you'll see that it's just waiting for your device and ready to go. Alright guys, you're all set. I appreciate you tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next one. <music>